Hello friends. Welcome to Nabula Mahami online mass. In this video, we are going to learn another practical approach to perform division. Already, we have learned how to use the long division method or the scaffolding method to perform division. We have also learned how to use the repeated subtraction method to perform division. We have learned how to use the grouping method to perform division. If you go through my previous videos, you see these methods. And today, we are going to learn another practical approach or method to perform division. And this particular method is very, very important for kids at the basic school level because it is practical for the kid to do the division without any difficulty. And the method is called the Japanese method of division. And I have three examples on the board to illustrate this method. And the concept of today is how to divide any number by a single digit. So those that I have on the board, all of them, the denominator is a single digit. The numerator can be a single digit, it can be double digit or even a bigger number, four digits, five digits or whatever. But the concept that we are going to learn is when the denominator is a single digit. So let's start. The first example is 6 divided by 2. To use the Japanese method of division to divide 6 over 2, what you need to do is the denominator here is represented by lines. We use lines to represent the denominator. And the, the numerator, we use doors to represent the numerator. And if you are to solve 6 divided by 2, then you start drawing your lines from the denominator. The value that I have here is 2. It means I have to draw two lines. And usually the lines are horizontal lines. So I'll draw my two lines since my denominator is 2. The next step, I'll move to the numerator. Look at the value of the numerator, which is 6 in this case. That means I have to locate 6 doors within these two lines. And location of the doors has a pattern or a procedure that you follow. You start locating your first point here. Then the second point will come here. It will be in a vertical form like this. Then I'll move here. My third point will be here. Fourth point will be here. Fifth point here and sixth points here. It may have finished locating my six points on these two lines. After locating the points, you now draw lines to pass through the doors vertically. So I will draw a line to pass through this, draw another line to pass through this, draw another line to pass through this. After drawing the lines, you now count the number of vertical lines that you have and that will represent your answer. So let's count the vertical lines. One, two, three. So I have three vertical lines. This simple means that 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 using the Japanese method of division. Let's move to the second example. The second example is 12 divided by 3. So this one, my denominator is 3. It means I have to draw 3 horizontal lines. So I have 1, 2, Three. Then I will move to the numerator, which is 12. I will use those to represent the 12 by locating them within the three lines following the procedure. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then I can now draw vertical lines to pass through these doors. So I'll draw one line here, 
another line here another line here another line here after this i'll count the number of vertical lines that i've drawn one two three four so that will give me four this simple means that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Now let's move to the last example. That one is 96 over 8. To divide 96 by 8, I'll start from the denominator, which is 8, meaning I'll draw 8 horizontal lines. So let me draw. 1, 2, three four five six seven eight so these are the eight horizontal lines then i will now go to the numerator which is 96 that means i'm going to locate 96 in those in these lines and it will be very tedious for me to locate the 96 doors or it will take my time so i want to give you a trick here that you can use to get the 96 doors here even though some of them will be cut off or will be hidden but you still get the answer to be the right answer you pick the digits individually you can see that this one is nine and you can see that it can easily go to nine it can go into nine that means that the doors can enter in the eight line since this particular nine or digit is more than what eight so i'll pick the digits individually so here is nine so i'll start with nine locating nine doors so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so you see that this particular doors has no partners here if i use the first digit so what i need to do is I will cancel this dot knowing that I'm picking one dot off and then join this one. And how many vertical lines are here? One. So I'll start writing my answer looking at the vertical lines that I have here. And I have only one vertical line. So I'll write my answer for that part one. Then after this, I will now, the point that I've taken here. It was one dot and that represents 10 because this one is in 10 digits. So I'll write it in front of 6. I will now get 16. I will now get 16. That means I have to locate 16 dots. So this will give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you can see that I can now draw my vertical lines. Look at them. One, two. Then I'll come and write it and attach the one that I have earlier, which was one. So you can see that I now have what? 12. And that means that 96 over 8 is equal to 12. This is how we use the Japanese method to perform division. I know example one and two is easy for you to understand. But the example three is a little bit confusing. Don't worry. My next example is going to be based on bigger numbers like this. And I'll re-explain the concept and you pick it. I know this one will be a little bit difficult. So don't worry. Just go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And my YouTube channel name is Nabla Mahami Online Mass. So that anytime I upload a video on this, you will be able to understand the concept. So next time, I will use bigger numbers. To divide by a single digit then before we now move to division by double digits division by triple digits or whatever so your duty is to join my youtube channel so that anytime i explain things like this you understand the concept and i said this particular method is good for children at the primary school especially class one to class three so i will solve more examples on this thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.